Alright guys, I decided to make one more video for my um, RV camper conversion slash tiny house. Um, over the past couple years I've done some cosmetic and functional changes to it and I want you guys to check out. One of the major upgrades that I made to the trailer was by putting the solar panels on the roof of the trailer. Uh, this really makes it so much more convenient when you stop uh, by not having to take out the solar panels from the trailer. They're already mounted on top, good to go and you can actually charge while you're driving which is a really nice feature. On the front I have mounted the battery box also on the tongue. Just another thing to make it more convenient. It's um, hardwired in so when you're driving along the road it's charging and you never have to take it out. Um, the tongue was a little bit short but I managed to fit everything there with the propane tanks. Underneath the trailer I did some more plumbing. So before I had the sink and the shower just roughed in, um, so I, I hooked everything up together and brought everything back to a valve, which is similar to your standard RV quick connect. So you can hook that up to a drain line or you could get a portable tank and hook that up to it for disposable of gray water, gray water only. Inside the trailer, I built this little wall uh, to hide the tankless water heater below. Added some trim and base. I painted the trim white. thought that looked kind of nice. Another big thing from the last video was taking out the fridge and putting this little shelf in here so that there's room for a mini fridge underneath. I took out the bigger fridge just to reduce weight. The other fridge was 200 pounds, and it was also propane. So I took that out, painted the stove black, put some new knobs on it. I got a couple comments on the videos saying it kind of looked outdated, so I decided to make it look a little bit nicer. One comment said that he saw he noticed the window was a little bit low, so what I did was I cut back all the baseboard, or the backsplash to the countertops and I put this board on it and so that we can turn the crank so you don't have that notched look underneath on the backsplash so that works nice and looks nice in the bathroom I uh, replaced this door from um, this material, which the lines didn't really match up and I didn't like that, so I put it, made it wood and stained it. You know, behind it, there, we still have all those shelves. So, that's about it for the upgrades for the trailer. Besides that, you know, I just did some caulking, um, repainted it, painted these back doors, and that's about it. Thanks for watching.